Hey Chandler. Yo, give me that. Give me this. Give me this. Oh god. If I don't get food in the next 30 minutes, I'm walking around naked. Hey, you know what? Lizzie, I feel you, bro. Uh, I'm gonna tear up the camp. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting out the fire. He's trying I'm to gobble naked some in glizzies. If I don't get food. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Prince Charming. We are gonna be checking out some more Mr. Beast and this time we're gonna be watching him survive 24 hours on a deserted island. Oh my gosh. So your boy Jimbo Slice went ahead and bought himself a deserted island because you, you know, that's what Jimbo Slice do. That's what the Mr. Beast does. So we're gonna go ahead and see him and his friends, I'm assuming, survive 24 hours on a deserted island. I don't know if they're gonna bring food. I hope they do and they're not trying to do with the no food challenge or if they're gonna try to scavenge it on their own. They say Minecraft, bro. Like, I don't know if you can do this in real life. But your boy is trying to hit 1 million subscribers. So if you subscribe right now, you get me one step closer to my goal. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. All that good stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Mr. Beast. I survived 24 hours on a deserted island. Let's go ahead and see how he does it. This is a deserted island with zero inhabitants. And we're gonna this reminds me of that Roblox right uh, yeah, survivor game, swim. you know? <laughs> Speaking of Doritos, we brought supplies. Hey, first is Mountain Dew. Our okay, they got, uh, they got snacks. This is for my poop. We brought Fortnite Monopoly because deserted islands are pretty lonely. Oh what my gosh. Me? Heavy object. I would be afraid of like the tide. Now they probably did the research. Shares and boring things. You ever go to the grocery store with your mama and they gotta take all the bags at once? Okay, right, Andrew boys, Garfield. Are gone. <laughs> We're not coming back until tomorrow. He yeah, reminds me of Andrew Garfield. I swear, bro. Island. Please do not let anyone die. I gotta go. And that's not even an insult, bro. Like Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man. <laughs> Come on now. Nope, they're over there. Like I said earlier. Treasure Ooh. chest full of money. What Very if treasure. All this money, but I don't know where. I don't want nice. to see you. They're right over there. What if we told them we were playing hide and seek, and then, but instead, I buried the treasure. All right, my fellow island. You should bury it and, and never dig it back up, and then tell all of your you fans go all the way to the water and look <laughs> to go look for it. If you're caught cheating, you're never allowed to compete in a challenge ever until the day you die. But I'm immortal. They would never. <laughs> I'm gonna dig a decoy hole. Okay, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. Smart with the decoy hole. All right, so far so good. We're really close to camp, which is why I don't think they'll check here. They're gonna think it's further out. I would think it's further out as well. You can turn around. You were trying to bury yourself and you couldn't. No, I buried treasure. There's $10,000 buried somewhere. No, it's not. Just kidding. So I lied. It's not $10,000. It's $3,000. Go. $3,000 and $1 bills. So we can hit the strip club. The more they look, the more footprints they make, and the harder to find. I see you, Chandler. I know Jimmy. Very lazy. <laughs> Which is why he went for. <laughs> I'm going to Europe. My shot is to follow Chris and then push him when he finds it and bring it back faster. Pretty good strategy. I like that idea. Black man. Good, good, good idea. <laughs> Have a nice meal at night. I'm gonna go grab it. Just let everyone else do the work and wow, take it from whoever grabs it, unless it's him. He's a beast. It wasn't on camera. <laughs> no. Dude, we're keeping big tent industry in business. We just keep on buying so many tents. And walkie talkies. It's <laughs> to complain. Ah, I'm so angry <laughs> that you exist. Three. Yeah. You know where the, the treasure is, right? Uh, Splitsy ditzy. Because I don't settle for 50 50, Chris. I'll take 200 bucks. I just want to find it. You just want to find it? Yeah. I offered him 20 He says more about the experience for him, okay? Nerds. Well, yeah, I've already found it. You're building this tent, you're working hard. I went through all my ranks, Cub Scouts before Boy Scout, and then I became a Boy Scout. They're going to ask me to help them later, and I'm going to say, get the seagull to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I was in them Boy Scouts. Y'all want to know a funny story? Mind. I'll tell you well, after I'm I pause. With the problem. All right, it's going behind Vikings tent to block the way. I think I already told the story, but I'll tell it again. All right. All right, so my funny story about uh, the Boy Scouts. So I technically never was in Boy Scouts, but I did pay for it and register for the Boy Scouts. And this was like the Boy Scouts that like gets processed through your school. It's not, you know, supported by the school, but like they come to your elementary school, you know, tell you all about it, all that good stuff. You pay your, you know, membership fee, and then you're supposed to go, I don't know, kayaking and climbing trees and hunting bears. But I paid my fee, right? Paid my fee, and they never, they never gave me a schedule. They never told me what any of the meetings were. Whenever I asked them, they're like, I don't remember what the, exactly they told me, but I do remember that it was like a need to know basis. They'll let me know when it's upcoming. And I never got told once. I'm just like, bruh, if you didn't want me to join your secret boy club, just let me know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Children, gather around for another clue of your treasure. It's on this side of the island. Ha. I found it. Dustin found wow, the treasure. Wow, he found you know, it. Dustin, it's a shame we're on a deserted island. No one will know what happened. Snap his neck. I think Justin found it, so he should give it to me. I'm about to try to get Josh to build my tent for me. I'll give you like 20 bucks. Whoa. How much you win? He won $3,000. Get more than that. Now, you give me 20 bucks? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get more than that, bro. <laughs> I give y'all each a $1,000. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds pretty good. That's okay. better. Nice. That's much better. You got it. I'm getting so frustrated, too. Oh, I feel God. like building a tent is like there you annoying. Go. Especially with all the wind. <laughs> Stop burning me! Yeah. It's a terrible idea. Let's all go and do the diving together. I'm gonna go for a swim now. Go for a swim. Enjoy it. <laughs> Scuba diving. With no floaties. Hey, Jimmy. I gotta learn GoPro. how to swim. <laughs> I gotta learn how to swim already, man. I'll drown in a situation oh like God, this, bro. <laughs> Chandler are about to go scuba diving. We'll let you know if we find anything. That's some crazy gear they got. Can they breathe underwater with that? I don't ever need to see James Charles like that again. I don't ever need to see him, period. <laughs> there is another island over there, and we're gonna go swim to it because we need content. Oh look, we have a shark in the water. All right guys, we have a long treacherous journey. Let's get going. Y'all go swim to the other island. Is it walkable or oh, the you actually gotta swim? Keep going. Come on, I'm you. Come on. All right, looks Jimmy, like they can walk in it, bro. Oh, no, Chris. Terry looks like he should be in that damn Viking show on History Channel. Buff as hell. <laughs> Look like he should be stopping Ragnarok. Okay. Uh, Does that make sense? We could swim to Europe. <laughs> okay, you can actually at least run in the water, so that's not as scary. That would have been a smooth hell no for me if you couldn't run in the water or walk on it. Okay. So this is the other island. I want to know if he bought both of these islands just because. <laughs> you mean you want to head over? There? Wow, another island? Hey Jake, give us slow motion. I need the goggles! Out. Tariq, what do you want? You were like, I want a slow-mo of what? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna play way too much, bro. <laughs> what I want to know is like, are there islands that have yet to be discovered? Because the ocean is so huge. And I don't think we we discovered everywhere or all the surface islands, surface islands, all the islands in the ocean yet. So it would be crazy if they like just came to this, you know, filming island station, whatever you want to call it, to, you know, get their little filming done. And then they find a castaway who got shipwrecked like a week or two ago, maybe even more, maybe a year, maybe two years. And this whole time he was surviving on fish and uh, sand, I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a very cool Mr. Beast video rescuing a castaway? Man, that would have gotten at least a billion views, bro, at least. <laughs> Chris, we need you to get out the water and make a fire so we can eat hot dogs. I don't wanna. Junior. <laughs> Good boy. He's rolling Ugh, You can the eat them seagulls right too. Do seagulls taste nasty? <laughs> They're birds. Chickens are birds. Don't drop I mean, me on my Crows are birds too. I wouldn't eat a crow. <laughs> Someone let me know if you, if you ever eat a seagull. So you can see how small our island is. That's a pretty small island. The island's getting small. What? The island's getting small. Who said that? Uh, we're, we're Mother nature. What the heck, mom? Guys, we gotta migrate <laughs> that no. way. We build a moat. I'm not migrating anywhere. I don't know if this moat's gonna work. Hey, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's worked. why I was worried about that time, yeah, man. <laughs> Guys, get to digging. Protect the village. Oh, another one. Oh, here he goes. Thank you, just saved your All right, doing pretty yeah, good, doing pretty good. <laughs> Boy, that'll burn your thighs right there. It's working. It is. That's a big one. We survived. It's protected. We're doing good, boys. Oh, no. Keep digging. So when are they gonna go uh, start uh, grilling them glizzies? I wanna see who's the best glizzy grilled. <laughs> this area right here has got about five. Ah! Feet. Our next point is 
right here. <laughs> I'm trying to see some glizzy. Show me the glizzy. Oh, that's a really Where the glizzy's one. Oh my at? Gosh. <laughs> we live to fight another day. Who would have thought there's water on an island? It's called an eye land, not an eye water. I was just thinking, we should make some food. Chandler, do you see what is happening right now? Yes, we did a great job. <laughs> let's let's go. We deserve a meal. Let's start grilling them glizzies. Fire if the village is underwater, Chandler. Think, Chandler, please help us. All right, hold this. Okay. Don't lose it. What okay. is that, Coke? We build this moat, we get food. <laughs> food? Yes. Food. This man brought drugs with him. <laughs> he said, hold it. Keep the island from sinking, and we will give you all the hot dogs you want. All the hot dogs in the world. Does the he not look a little bit like Andrew Garfield to y'all? I'm getting tired. I may be tripping, bro. I just may be tripping. Food? Food? Some water? What about food? Okay, want some glizzies. Well, what if we drink water first? That's the I want glizzies and face. Food? That's the I love me some glizzies okay. face. <laughs> the moat worked. This was the best idea we've ever had. It actually withstood high tide. Now we're going to eat some food, heat up some hot dogs. It should be fun. You know, it's pretty sandy. And also, there's a lot of water, and birds are just pooping everywhere. Ugh. Oh, from who? I forgot who about that. It's probably bird shit all over that island. Wow. Really? Do you say I look like birds now? Like a majestic bird. Okay. 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 <laughs> do the neck. Do the neck. What kind of bird is that? <laughs> no one's focusing on my fire. What do we need to start a fire? You just want me to say the thing again, don't you? Roasted sure do. Almond. Fuel. Uh huh. Flame. Uh huh. And oxygen. And everybody said, no, you breathe out carbon dioxide, but it's not. You're blowing, and it makes the oxygen go to the fire. Yeah. So you're there you wrong, go. Tom, there, there you go. Dinguses. He's a Boy Somewhere. Scout. We solicit oh him. <laughs> I know, and I'm a Boy Scout. Cub Scout. That's the first rule of Boy Cub Scout. Cub Scout. <laughs> Something? No, be no. prepared. We're What's the difference? Now, boys. Get your weenies ready. And also your hot dogs. I totally forgot that there's like birds flying over this island. So you have to assume that this island is covered in bird poop, right? And it feels like birds only poop where they think they like where they think humans are going to be. Because there is no reasonable way that my car windshield should always have bird poop on it when I never parked under any cars. It's like they fly around looking for a vehicle that they can drop their turd on. They do it purposely. Birds are much smarter than we've given them credit for or than what we think man they be aiming they're not just letting it loose they're aiming <laughs> jimmy appreciate me i made you fire that ain't jimmy i don't care that jimbo I slice it. <laughs> you sound like maddie Whoa. i need a takeaway come over here. maddie come on it was, it was an easy joke it's not true 100 percent not true it's just you know with the, boys, uh, <laughs> the opportunity presented itself for a funny joke you know that was a pretty good joke so it's okay right that was a pretty right? good joke yeah. mister okay yeah okay fine. okay Love you, uh, mister? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna oh, stick God. with Jimbo Slice. What is, why is he running with the knife? Someone take that knife from him. <laughs> the only way to stop a crazy was with another crazy. Chandler, attack. Boys, is that a, a think of your thrower? friendship. <laughs> touch fire. No, your flame is not worthy. <laughs> They're bad touch tips. Chandler, what do you That's so to weird. <laughs> hey, Chandler. Yo, give me that. Give me this, give me this. Oh God. If I don't get food in the next 30 minutes, I'm walking around naked. You want his glizzy? I feel you, bro. Uh, I'm gonna tear up the camp. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting out the fire. He's trying to gobble some glizzies. If I don't get food. <laughs> 30 minutes later. I, glizzies uh, ready yet? I haven't washed my hands, but uh. Cook our wieners. There we go. Wait, you haven't washed your hands? Were you digging in your crack? Yes, I was. We're not dealing with optimal it's conditions. It's pretty good fire so setup. All right, let's go ahead and get the buns ready and the ketchup and the mustard. They ready yet? No. Hey, get out of here, this is my wiener. These are my wieners. <laughs> oh, the birds can smell the food, I forgot. It'll be funny if they just swoop down and grab one. Wiener <laughs> me up, daddy. Chris, thank you. I'll be the first thank to say. You. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't get much of those. It's gonna fall. Close your bun. Let go. Okay. No way. These are all wieners. <laughs> he know how, he know how to handle glizzies. I don't know. <laughs> how many times? How many times have we forgot it? What? That's one too many. Right. One too many. Every time we go on a trip, we always forget to bring ketchup and mustard, which is no big deal. It's just condiments, you know? On the mountain, it was water. I can deal without water. You can live without water. We're so, gonna die of dehydration. But a hot dog without ketchup and mustard? <laughs> they forgot to bring water a on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> now I do need some condiments on my on my glizzies, Guys, bro. Guys, drone shot's not good enough. You can barely you me, see us. You want me not to eat a glizzy raw? Fire! Raw glizzies? 
With no beverage? Nah, bro. I ain't trying to choke on a glizzy, man. I ain't trying to go out that way. I'm a family man. <laughs> All right. Enough right, for the glizzy jokes. So I just don't feel like moving. I'm just gonna sleep here. Good night. Going a bit hungry because I dropped my hot dog. No. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired after being on an island all day. I don't know if I'm gonna want to leave in the morning though. Hey, can you cut my light off? The dark one spawns tonight. Okay. Oh, now it looks like a dork. <laughs> All right, 24 hours. I don't know how you can fall asleep in a situation like that. I ended up in a tent. I don't know how. I slept terribly. Sand is not yeah. comfortable. I'm tired. I don't, want to get back to bed. <laughs> I don't blame you. Sand does not right. look comfortable. <laughs> Good morning. I slept in this chair. I think we're just going to get out of here. It's yep. almost been 24 hours. Hopefully this boat will come soon. That's probably the worst night's sleep I've ever gotten. Everything else is covered in sand. I just want a shower. Can I have a shower now? So guys, I just thought of something. Uh, what if the boats don't come this morning? Why would you say that? I would freak out. Clear gun? I doubt it. No. I would freak out really Great. bad. Okay, well, we better hope the boats come back. Could you imagine leaving like your entire life in the hands of people who are supposed to come back on a boat and come rescue you highly doubt you're gonna get cell reception out here so you really have to hope those people on that boat come back and come scoop your ass bro nah that's so scary but i'm 99 percent sure he probably told people where he was going to be so even if they did come back like there will be you know a rescue of mr beast underway but um sleeping on sand so it looks like a terrible night's sleep Looks like your back will be totally busted up and everything. You won't be able to eat glizzies anymore. <laughs> An island sucks. I agree. Don't spend 24 hours on a deserted island. Like, I agree. It's miserable. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't come soon, I'm going to go crazy. We're currently packing up and hoping the boat guys didn't forget us. We're making sure we pick up everything we brought to the island. No trash. We don't want to leave a mess. Exactly. For both the environment. There you go. My boy Jimbo Slots. Our boats are here. Hey guys, good news. The boats are here. Yeah. No, they're not. They're all the way over there. I mean, yeah, the boats are there. <laughs> I'm this man going crazy. I'm gonna need you to carry me. How much do you weigh? About 168. Trick only carries 169. I weigh almost 100 pounds more than that guy. Golly. Thank God. Yeah, Come on, guys. It. I have sunburn. Don't touch me. We I have sunburn. Come on. We did it. Ow. Ow. The boat is here. Oh, right. the Don't forget the black guy. Where's the black guy at? <laughs> that was it for this video guys and i hope you enjoyed it well there you have it mr beast aka jimbo slice surviving 24 hours on a deserted island i don't think you, you would ever do that challenge again it looked very miserable like very very miserable my biggest thing is like if i dropped my glizzy in the sand i wasn't able to eat my glizzy and i had to go to bed hungry and uncomfortably on the sand with birds pooping everywhere and oh gosh this man no wonder he did 24 hours 48 hours is off it's off the it's off the uh it's off limits we're not touching that but your boy's trying to hit a million subscribers so every person who subscribes will help me get one step closer to that goal so go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications all that good stuff help support your boy but that was it for this video guys my name is prince of Hawkham. stay charmed my friends